Oh. Hi guys, you will not believe this, but it is an amazingly, astonishingly, astoundingly, breathtakingly, daringly, dazzlingly, dramatically, eye-catchingly, fabulously, fantastically, grandly, magnificently, marvelously, miraculously, remarkably, sensationally, splendidly, strikingly, stunningly, thrillingly, wondrously, razzle-dazzlely, theatrically, markedly, prodigiously, staggeringly, stupendously, and above all, it is a spectacularly gorgeous, we are talking about an over-the-top beautiful day. Here in the collapse of everything on this unbelievably gorgeous, uh, it is now a Monday morning, September 16th. 2024, I believe, as we kick off the second half of the most beautiful month of my life. And uh, so anyway, I might put the little dog down. And uh, I have an email today waiting for me in my email box from my old buddy Klaus Schwab. Klaus Schwab at the uh, at the World Economic Forum, and Klaus has an invitation for me. He is inviting me to the Sustainable the World Economic Forum's Sustainable Development Impact Meetings 2024. Do we have a triple? oxymoron, the Sustainable Development Impacts. Uh, <laughs> you gotta love Klaus. Dear Sam, we are pleased to invite you to join us virtually at the Sustainable Development Impact Meetings 2024. Yes, during the week it's, it's, this is next week, coinciding with the United Nations General Assembly, the World Economic Forum will host the Sustainable Development Impact Meetings. So what is this all about? Drawing on the forum's dedicated communities of purpose, dedicated communities of purpose, business leaders, policy makers, international and civil society organizations, innovators, and social entrepreneurs will convene in person for a series of carefully curated, I bet they are, a series of spectacularly carefully curated, impact-driven leaders' dialogues. Yes. The World Economic Forum committed to improving the state of the world is the International Organization for Public-Private Cooperation. Uh, the forum engages the foremost political, business, cultural, and other leaders of society Hmm. to shape global, regional, and, of course, industry 
agendas. And there you go. So we have the world leader uh, in, in setting industry agendas for this planet, holding a sustainable development impact meeting along with the UN. So guys, you know, I've been trying to figure out for years uh, <coughs> who this obvious bunch of planet-eating, ecocidal, bright green lie spewing sacks of shit are. Who are these guys? Uh, the World Economic Forum. Now, of course, if you ask these, you know, these Trump-tard right-wing conspiracy theorists, I'm sure they will tell you that, uh, that the World Economic Forum, especially with that enigmatic spawn of Satan, Klaus Schwab, uh, it is the architect of the New World Order depopulation agenda. The single number one granddaddy, unadulterated horseshit, conspiracy wacko theory of them all that uh, anybody calling themselves the World Economic Forum uh, would have one thing to gain by a, by a depopulation agenda, <clears throat> they are so clueless that they, they, there's no reaching these people. Uh, but anyway, I, I, I admit uh, I, I've never really been able to figure out who who, who, who these people are. So. According to their own website, this is how they describe their impact. What is the World Economic Forum's impact? For more than 50 years, the forum has engaged global partners, global, engaged global partners to drive impact creating historic initiatives, industry breakthroughs, and economic solutions. Economic solutions improving the state of the world. I, well guys, I don't know about you, but I can certainly see uh, how their economic solutions have uh, really been improving the state of this planet over the last 50 years when I think the population of this planet since the architects of the New World Order depopulation agenda you, you know began uh, killing us all uh, over 50 years ago that the population of this planet has it doubled or tripled I would say their depopulation agenda is not working. <clears throat> Discover how organizations are partnering with the forum to address critical global issues. Alright, I want to find out who the hell these partners are. These partners, which they, they always capitalize the word. Okay, so I go over to our partners. World Economic Forum partners are leading global companies, otherwise known as multi-billion dollar multinational uh, global industrial corporations. Otherwise, this is the centerpiece of the global industrial corporatocracy as well as the bankers behind the global industrial corporatocracy funding 
uh, all, all of this shit that has brought this planet to where it is in 2024. So those leading global companies developing solutions to the world's greatest challenges, they, they, meaning the world's lead, the world's leading global companies, they are the driving force behind the forum's programs. Our partners engage in centers, I have no idea what that means, to shape the future. Our partners engage in centers to shape the future, addressing networks and experts to ensure, to ensure strategic decision making on the most pressing world issues. Finally, we're getting to the bottom of this. So who are our partners? And it is alphabetized without the letter F. So I'm already shocked that Ford Motor Company uh, is not part of the uh, World Economic Forum. I would have bet anyone $1,000 that uh, the Ford Motor Company, although it's probably buried inside, but uh, we have A to C, not counting the letter F. So, all right. Number one, if, if, if and, and of course, you, you know, every one of these uh, corporations have their own sustainability pledge and then of course the uh, World Economic Forum uh, I, I'm not going to read it you know it sounds like the boilerplate for all of those so the World Economic Forum has their you know corporate sustainability pledge and every one of these corporations also have their own sustainability departments talking about uh, how under their corporate responsibility this economic this global economic model that they have been honing for the past 50 years uh, it is sustainable forever into the future so okay if there is anybody out there so clueless to believe, I mean, on this planet, including the lying, hypocritical sacks of shit uh, in, in this thing, believing for one second that one single one of these planet-eating, uh, ecocidal, uh, just, just maniacs, 100% dependent on infinite growth in both population production and consumption on this planet it is uh, in any way shape or form sustainable you are every bit as clueless and perhaps more clueless than any right-wing Alex Jones ass-licking conspiracy wacko thinking that the World Economic Forum or any one of these countries 100% dependent on the single biggest lie in on the planet today that you can have infinite growth on a finite planet. Okay, uh, believing that any of these companies wants uh, the population of this planet reduced by one person, much less eight billion. The, 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 the uh, spectrum of clueless fucking morons uh, buzzing around an organization they know absolutely nothing about. If, if any clueless moron ever comes up to you 
and, and, and it says either one of these unadulterated horseshit lies to you that any of the, these companies give one shit about life on this planet and their sustainable development goals, which of course there's no such thing as sustainable development, or someone uh, tells you that uh, the World Economic Forum uh, wants to depopulate this planet and, and wants people to consume less. Okay, the famous you will have nothing and you will be happy line. Uh, anyway, you know you're talking to a clueless fucking moron who has probably never in their entire lives spent the few minutes I'm getting ready to spend here. We're going to go down A to Z. Okay. And I am, uh, and, 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 and I'm only going to read probably about a third of these people, okay? Uh, otherwise, I'd be here for the next three hours. And, and every time I, I, I mention one of these, uh, one of these partners uh, in the World Economic Forum, <coughs> otherwise meaning one of the members of the uh, World Economic Forum, ask yourself two questions when you hear this. Number one, is this global industrial corporation sustainable? And number two, ask yourself, is there anything on any level that this global industrial corporation would gain by lowering the population of this planet or reducing per capita consumption when 100% of their corporate goal is to have more and more people to sell more and more of this planet eating crap to. All right. A to Z. See if you recognize some of these names. The Adani Group. How about African Rainbow Minerals? Yes. Alibaba Group. Alibaba is the Amazon of China. And of course, since we mentioned Amazon, you better believe that Jeff Bezos is all over the World Economic Forum. Now, interestingly, I have to admit that you will not see Tesla or Starlink anywhere in there, that Elon Musk has just said no to the uh, World Economic Forum, or they have said no to Elon Musk, I don't know which. Uh, but don't worry, Amazon.com, Aramco, which of course is Saudi Arabia's oil company. Uh, here, the Bahrain Economic Development Board. Yes, the Bahrain Economic Development Board certainly sounds like. And then, of, of course, we have all of the banks, the bancos and the banks, of course. Here is one of my banks, Bank of America in here. Of course, Barclays, do not forget these paragons of sustainability, BlackRock. BlackRock is one of these sustainable partners. Of course, BP, uh, British Petroleum. Uh, okay, moving on to the letter C, of course, we have Chevron, Cisco, and Citibank. Okay, let's go to the letter D. Don't forget Dell Technologies, Deutsche Bank. I love this one. DP World, uh, DHL, you know, the, one of these delivery services delivering all of this crap. Uh, all over the planet. 
uh, where were we? There was no G. Uh, oh, well, of course, there, uh, there was no F. Of course, see if you can guess the two G's. The two G's uh, partnering with the World Economic Forum. If your guess was Google and Goldman Sachs. Google and Goldman Sachs are bringing up the G category for these uh, sustainable uh, industry leaders. Okay, H. How about Hewlett Packard Corporation? I'm very happy that Hewlett Packard uh, exists because I'm bringing this report to you on an HP computer. Of course, uh, Hitachi Honeywell, and however you pronounce that, H-U-A-W-E-I technologies. We can go off on a whole rant there. I, wow, you will not believe that IBM and Intel, among others, okay, J, needless to say Johnson and Johnson, that the pharmaceutical companies, uh, all of the, the giant pharmaceutical companies, uh, of course, are in here, which is probably might be one reason these conspiracy wackos are talking about the depopulation agenda, because all of these companies developing and issuing corona panic vaccines, you better believe, are uh, joined at the hip with the World Economic Forum. And then, of course, we can't forget the banksters behind it all, J.P. Morgan Chase. So I'm glad to see Chase Bank. So uh, I have Bank of America, Chase, and H.P., among others, what could be under K? Even I don't recognize anybody under K. How about L? Uh, nope. I'm just, I'm just giving you the ones I've heard of. M. There are all kinds of them under M. Uh, of course, Marsh McLennan. Do not forget MasterCard. I do have one MasterCard in my pocket. I have three Visa cards, which we'll get to when we get to V, and one MasterCard. Um, of course, Meta. Meta Corporation, which is basically Facebook, right next to Meta. Of course, no M would be complete without Microsoft. And then they Mitsubishi you have Mitsubishi, I guess, the car company, as well as the Mitsubishi Heavy Industries Corporation. Now, I was surprised that Caterpillar Corporation was not, uh, is not a partner, but Mitsubishi Heavy Industries is. And, of course, we cannot forget Morgan Stanley. No uh, World Economic Forum would be a complete without uh, them. Uh, of course, uh, under N, we have Novartis and Nestle. Won't get into a Nestle rant. Uh, all right. Okay, under P, all right, all kinds of stuff under P. We have PayPal, all right. I am a, a you know, a major supporter of PayPal. We have PepsiCo. PepsiCo, uh, you know, uh, I, I can do all, you know, PepsiCo, anybody who thinks that PepsiCo 
only uh, only uh, is is a soft drink company. They own Lay's, they own Frito Lay. They own all of these junk food companies, these fast food restaurants, uh, Kentucky Fried Chicken, Pizza Hut, A and W. Uh, I believe they own all of them. Uh, and it goes, and, and so the Coca-Cola company is actually under T. So Coca-Cola company, that paragon of sustainability, uh, the Coca-Cola company, uh, good God, uh, don't need to uh, get into that. And we cannot forget Pfizer. Uh, the conspiracy wackos cannot forget Pfizer being a big uh, partner uh, okay I'm just going to uh, I, I think we're getting the point uh, here in under S, S&P Global. Uh, this one, I like this one. Saudi Basic Industries. There you go. How about the Siemens Corporation? The uh, Sony Group. Uh, good Lord. Uh, a few more here. Uh, here is the the. Coca-Cola company under T. Uh, we have Uber under U. Huh, that's pretty weird. Uh, v, don't forget Visa. Okay, I've got three Visa cards uh, in my pocket, saving the planet. Verizon Communications. I have my Verizon. I have my Verizon uh, smartphone about 12 feet from me. I have uh, my HP computer with my PayPal account and three Visa cards. We're closing in to the uh, nothing under X. They could not come up. I'm surprised to see Xerox Corporation not a partner of the World Economic Forum. And winding up the letter Z, the Zurich Insurance Group. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> You know, guys, all you can do is laugh uh, about, uh, about the single biggest uh, just, just cesspool of uh, planet-eating, ecocidal, uh, global industrial corporations destroying a planet while being the single biggest cheerleaders of infinite growth in both uh, population and consumption of their products on the planet, uh, holding a sustainability development impact meeting while these right-wing morons are, are talking about how the World Economic Forum wants to kill us all. Now, I do need to say before I go here, obviously uh, the group that I just mentioned is going to kill us all, uh, but, but uh, it's not quite uh, the, way they're, the way they're going to kill us all is by their never-ending infinite uh, growth on a finite planet. Uh, when every one of these lying sacks of shit, greenwashing 
uh, hypocrites uh, runs this planet right up to the limits to growth and then you're going to see the bodies start piling up. So uh, there will be a depopulation agenda but you better believe that Klaus Schwab ain't leading it. Okay. Anyway, after that, that was, this will be today's Collapse Chronicles comedy routine. And I have to get out here and enjoy this. I'm not going to repeat that list of spectacularly gorgeous. I had a complaint from a listener today that uh, they're sick and tired of hearing the word spectacularly gorgeous. Uh, so we're going to head out on this razzle-dazzly gorgeous day in the collapse of everything and uh, go buy some sustainable corn from the produce stand while I still can. Bye, guys.